Hi, it's Foxy Dilo, and I am back with my journal covers that I'm making, my slow stitch journal covers, and I want to attach this piece of um, burlap right here. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the crafting for about 30 minutes, um, because my last 30 minute um, crafting didn't go quite so good. <laughs> last video was a bit of a mess um, but hopefully this time I won't get my uh, cloth nope my thread all stuck knotted up well first I'm gonna, going to try to pin this down where I want it Kind of lining it up with the things I've already, um, things I already added. Put one more. There. Okay. Okay. And now I'm just going to do a blanket stitch, which I'm going to look at my my book right here, which is the Needle Craft Style Directory by Sarah Whittle. So I'm just going to look at this for a bit. And I've done, you know, I've done blanket stitches before, but... Uh, don't have it memorized yet. Okay, so I step over and then through. And this one goes around. Yes, goes under the needle. Okay. I think I have it now. Yes, like that. Well, um, haven't had a whole lot of time in between this one and the the last crafting uh, craft along video so don't have much to talk about um, well I guess while I do this I can uh, talk about I I did some some um, bullion knots and French knots to make this little little bouquet and I also stitched in all these flowers little yeah there we go and I, I did all these little this little beading and I did uh, these over here in the the light mint green and I put a, a larger bead in the center of those and I finished off this little trim that I came up with doing. So, um, and let's see, I think I also added this piece of lace with a coral stitch. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. And I filled this part in and just did some, did a running, uh, I believe I did it. Uh, yeah, a, a back stitch on that. Yeah. Just to outline. To make an outline. So, now I'm working on this little burlap kind of patch. I'm just going to kind of get it even distance. But it's not, uh, it's not real. 
I'm not real worried about it, like measuring it out or anything. It's going to look cute no matter what. And I think I'm going to try to do um, a type of flower, kind of like a, like a foxglove. up this way I think that's what I'm gonna do but I won't be able to do that on camera because I'll need to look up what one of those looks like on my phone and that is what I record with and I have no other access to the internet it's phone only here so that's what I deal with It's going well. It's going okay. That way. I live out in the middle of nowhere, so not a whole lot of, well, there's like no um, decent speed internet providers out here. And even the slow speeds won't want you to pay an arm and a leg so I said no thank you and I'm dealing with a uh, with cell phone internet and doesn't do everything I want it to but I'm still glad to have it And that's also why I have to do uh, shorter videos. It's my upload speeds are quite low. And it occupies a good bit of my my phone's time. So. Yeah. It's a bit of a challenge to run an Etsy shop on a phone. I need to go somewhere and use their Wi-Fi, I believe. So I can, well, I had to get a, uh, like a laptop or something first, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if this is very interesting to watch or not. So you have to tell me in the comments <laughs> if you enjoy this type or if you'd rather uh, see me do quicker where you where you get to see more um you know action it'll take me a bit more planning um to do that but i'm sure i could come up with something just not I'm not very, I'm still pretty new at this. Um, only been doing it for like a month or two. 
and I kind of took almost a week off, uh, I mean not a week, uh, almost a month off, so that didn't help any. Oh goodness, what did I do? I did something. <laughs> It's supposed to be on this side. Oh, this is what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Under there. Okay. Let's try not to get that piece of burlap. No, I did it wrong anyway. I'm trying to think too hard about what to say. Can't stitch. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's going to want to watch this. But if nothing else, it will be a I'm doing it wrong in the same way every time. It'll be, uh, you know, a little, a little journey. Um, what do you say? Like a, a, a diary of my, my crafting progress. <laughs> so that's nice in itself. Okay, so... How do I go around a corner? I don't know. I guess I could go here and then up. Okay, that works. Um, I mean, these are really just, this, this blanket stitch is, uh, just to hold it down until I have the center done, and then it, you know, it'll be nice and secure after that. I mean, I'm leaving the blanket stitch, but. don't want to get it too wrinkled. Pull that piece off. It's a good bit chillier today. I'm recording this on Thursday, and our temperatures dipped quite a bit. Well, 
I wore shorts most of yesterday and then sweater today. that W over the little frills there, so that's why I was See, I did tinier, tinier stitches going this way, so that's what I'll do over here as well. Trying to make sure that they stay in the right spots. It's a little more difficult on this side. Always seems to get so twisty. getting there.
I actually did smaller ones on this side. But a lot of that um, depends on how the burlap is. Oh goodness, here's... this one doing this one's wanting to give me trouble it's my little scissors Seems like once it starts flaring out on the end, I seem to get a lot of knots. So hopefully trimming that off will help out. I haven't had a chance to uh, see if there's any comments on my last um, last one of these 30 minute craft alongs because I'm um, I think it just went live when I started this one so as soon as I'm done filming I'll have to go check that if there's any any word from you guys so I'd love to hear from you I know um, a subscriber Roxy car 11 has been watching all my tag videos I do really appreciate her and her kind comments And also her sending some of her friends my way. That's been really kind. I'll have to thank her again in another video. This is... I have to watch a lot of it to, to get to it in this one. So I'll have to... I'll have to thank her in my... My next one. Which I guess the next video should be the seed, the seed stitch video. Let's see, I might kind of wrap that up a little bit in the stitches. Cause I want it to be, I don't want it to cover up this bit. Well, it's already been about uh, 25 minutes and got the three sides. It does take quite a bit of time to to do these stitches. Or maybe I'm just low at it. I don't know. I've never... Um, Never, I haven't had the chance to uh, be around people in um, IRL to uh, to see them stitching. So 
might have to have to show a couple of my friends how to how to do this once I learn better <laughs> so I can have people to slow stitch with that doesn't sound like a terrible plan I hope some of um, well, you guys are uh, enjoying slow stitching. I like how the end of this burlap has like a kind of a, a pink tint in, in it. I don't know if they, it was in the same factory or whatever that made um, kind of red, pink uh, burlap. But this, this definitely has like a little, a little bit of red to it, which matches the uh, the pink pretty well that I used. Okay, and there we go. Like it stitched all the way around. That was probably pretty boring to watch, but thanks if you've stuck it out. I'm just gonna go through the corner right there to hold that down. And just do a couple loops and and a knot and tie that off. All right, so I've got that done. Now I also have, I guess let me, uh, well, no, we only have three more minutes or so. So I'm going to attach little bit of this I'm gonna put some of this um, trying to decide I think I'll use this right here and do a little skinny I think I'll do a, a real skinny little ruffle on here I think that's what I'll do so next time you see it I'll have a ruffle done here the, in this pink and I'll try to do a, a, a foxglove type flower in this one. Yeah, I guess I can go ahead and try to cut out some of this fabric. I think this was a, I don't know, like a shawl or something. I'm really not sure what it was supposed to be. It's very, very gauze-like material. So I'm not positive. I'm just going to take a little strip Let's see I'll do it about this long I think Oh, what might be neat is like a little, a little bow made out of this, like a little knot, a little knot bow, let's see. I did one on a tag a couple days ago, and that was pretty cute. I mean, I'm calling it a knot bow. Cause it's a knot and it kind of looks like a bow. <laughs> Let's see. That's kind of cute. I might can do something to it to jazz it up a little bit. Mm. 
Maybe cut a little off. Kind of give it a little more layered, layer look. See how that looks. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Yeah, so how about that? Trim this off. I think I like it. Let's see, I can probably, yeah, I'll stitch this down under here, and then that'll pop up here. But we're uh, we are over time, so I will. I guess I'll do that later. Well, let me see if I have. Okay, I have some. I have some pink already threaded. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch this down. It'll just take a bit more time to upload. I want some of the little some of the little frizzies, but not all of the little frizzies. Okay. Okay, I think that's pretty cute now. Oh, Oh, I was off camera pulling them. Uh, should have stopped at 30 minutes. But oh well. Okay, we're going to get this done. Okay. It's going to go right there. Okay, let's stitch it down first. Just right here. And I may put a, a more decorative stitch somewhere that's uh, more in sight but for now I'm just gonna why did I put the knot on the top? That was silly trying to be quick trying to be quick and being silly okay try again From the underside. Just gonna do just a little straight st stitch. Just put a few in. Kind of bunch it up a little bit. Give it more uh, structure for the the second layer to to stand out from. Okay. Okay. It's the first side. And then scooch the. Hope you can see this. Oh, my tummy's starting to growl. Telling me it's about time for lunch. And see, I'm just bunching it a little bit. Yeah. 
gives it a little something. That's quite cute. I'm going to fray it a little bit at the edges here. So I might put something there, but I'll I'll come up with that on my own later. Pull this little piece off. Yeah. All right. Oh, I didn't knot it off. Cute little bow, little knot bow. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, thanks for joining me. And I'll, um, I'm gonna try to continue along putting these sp sporadically through the process. Um, next time I'll try to pick out something a little more exciting than just doing a blanket stitch. Um, so, yeah, so I hope you, I hope you'll join me next time as well. Um, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.